In the esprit of American culinary history, chefs like Larry DeFranza of Carmela's in Appleton, Wisconsin are numerous but too unsung. He is the connective tissue, he is the history of great cooking. New York born, a restaurant family, deeply Italian, and he's proof here in the Midwest that great food is evident and available everywhere. You do a, a, a lovely Americanized rustic Italian cuisine is how I would characterize Correct. it. I've enjoyed my meals here immensely. And I have to say the first time I came up, I didn't know, it was picked for me mm -hmm. and I was humbled and blown away. Appleton is not known as a cosmopolitan food town and I know that there's great food everywhere. But what's it like when you want to do something a little bit more authentic, uh, in, in, uh, innovative, uh, you know where I'm going. Well, we, you know, we, we found that our clientele are really uh, appreciative of the, of the things that we give them on a daily basis. Right now what we're doing is every time we do something crazy out of the box, we'll put it on Facebook. And we'll get 4,000 hits or 5,000 hits and we'll sell a special out right away. Yeah. Because they're looking, there's a hunger up here for, for really good food. And honestly, in the last couple of years, there's been a lot of good restaurants opening up. Mm -hmm. They just have to get their name out there and their product out there. Uh, there's plenty of room for everybody to make a living in this, in this marketplace. We're not as big as a Madison or Milwaukee, but I think we're getting to the point where the business, there's a lot of business travelers up here. Uh, and they appreciate the fact that they can go to a couple places to have a good meal that they're used to in New York or Chicago or Milwaukee or California or wherever. So we, uh, we came for dinner and we rolled in on a Wednesday night at about 5.30, 5.45, and the place was packed. Didn't surprise me. A lot of people eat early in Wisconsin. We had a long meal and a long conversation and we left at about 9.15, 9.30. And I watched this place on a Wednesday night have three turns. Mm -hmm. There are restaurants in Madison, Milwaukee, Chicago, Minneapolis that would kill, kill somebody. <laughs> Deal with the devil yeah. for that. Well, it, it, it's word of mouth. I mean, we have a great relationship with all the hotels around here where most of the business people travel during the week. I mean, you know, the, the Kimberly Clarks and the Bemises and the Georgia Pacifics and the, the Miller Electrics and, and all these big local companies that are international. Yeah. We have a lot of guys that come here from Italy because they do a lot of uh, uh, paper machinery. When that, they come over here, they recommend to come to this place. That's or, a uh, huge compliment. It, it, it yes. definitely is. Italian cuisine and, and Chinese are the two cuisines that uh, have made their way across America. Uh, Northern Italian cuisine, mm -hmm. and in its rustic sense, is, is natural comfort food, right? Mm -hmm. It just makes sense to everybody. I'm not really sure what it is about Chinese, which is fusion, mm -hmm. you know, for America, but it's it's... The two cuisines that you can set up in Appleton, you can set up in... Anywhere. 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 And people respond to the food Correct. if it's good. Yes. It's, it's amazing. It is. Yeah. Because it, 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 our, our, our style is pretty simple. We think that you use a few natural ingredients and, and you hopefully the flavors of those ingredients come out into your product. We don't want to cover it up or, or try to make it into something that it really isn't. Yeah, great Italian cooking is four, four things, five maybe, That's and, it. and you're, you're really covering That's something it. up or showing off yeah. if you're getting beyond, beyond that. Correct, and, that, and that's our whole philosophy and what we do. And it's been really pretty easy to train our kitchen staff because it is simple. Yeah. And it, it, is, it is to the point where we tell them, make it simple, not harder, because you're gonna have to perform. And mm -hmm. if you can't perform on something harder, we're not going to put it on the menu. Larry, what's your, what's your true north? What's your core? What's your elevator speech? What's your, you know, of... Why I do this? Why you do this. Well, it was probably inbred in me as a family. <laughs> I went to school, as, as I started as an art major, and I ended up as a business major in computer science. But the year I graduated from college, my father died. Mm -hmm. and my mother and my uncle asked me to come back to help in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I did. So we had Nicole, who was born in Duluth, and my wife, who didn't know anything about Italian families, and we lived in the apartment next door to my mother and my aunts and uncles. Uh, that's a good way to learn. Uh, yes. <laughs> it was a good way for her <laughs> to learn, Especially too. with a newborn. Yes. I mean, our visuals are simple, but they're attractive. Mm -hmm. And we eat with our eyes, mostly anyway. So, I mean, if we can put our artistic talent with our culinary talent, then it makes a win-win sometimes. And that's my whole philosophy. I mean, I, I, I enjoy seeing kids grow up and learn to trade. Because what they learn here, they can, they can take with them anywhere. 
And if they, needed, if they need to move to Washington or, or Seattle or California or Texas, they'll have a trade. They'll yeah. always find a job.